Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you all are having the best Sunday so far. Or if you're not watching on Sunday, what are you doing? We do this every single Sunday. Don't you know that? You should know that by now. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here for another showcase of the mods that have just recently hit the Nexus this week. It's so great to have you guys back here once and every single week here. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of awesome mods to get into this week. A lot of paleo mods. That's what that's what I'm really excited to see. But before we actually do get started, we're going to take a little dip in the ocean over here and just address the fact that mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But if you guys follow all the instructions laid out by handy dandy tutorials, such as one made by me, you guys are going to be just fine going ahead. So let's jump right over here and check this stuff out i'm so excited this week so right off the bat we're gonna get started with the nice paleo mod uh okay so i apologize everyone i did not brush up on saying this before but we're gonna try it together anarchus anan anankus arvinenis uh, who comes up with this stuff you, you really can't make it up either way it is a elephant-like proboscid back from the early Pleistocene. These guys are super awesome. I teamed up with Viral Cyclops on this to make this beautiful animal really stick out. And I'm so happy about that because it's just such a simple animal. It's a little bit different from the African elephant. In fact, I'll even bring one in here just to like compare and contrast. It is based off of the African elephant, so do keep that in mind. But these guys did not roam over Africa, they actually roamed over Africa, Europe, and Asia. Or at least the type genus did, from what I understand. These guys are incredibly beautiful, they have these big stocky kind of looking faces that are kind of different from our modern day African elephant. You can see that these guys, you know, they're not really exactly just like them. They're close enough to like, you know, yeah, that's an elephant, it has a trunk, it has some tusks and stuff. But these guys look absolutely incredible and amazing work to viral on this. It's his first Planet Zoo mod and he's already working on another mod I'm so excited for. So we'll be seeing that in just a little bit. There's a male and here is the female. In fact, what I'm probably going to do, I should actually have enabled this way before. Uh, but I'll actually speed up time even more. But I'm going to enable breeding so we can actually see these guys have babies because they're the cutest little things ever. But the female is also really cool as well. She also has some pretty long tusks. I apologize that it's going so fast. I just want animals to start breeding over here. And so far, nothing's really breeding, which is kind of unfortunate. But still, a really awesome mod viral. So happy to have you over here in the Planet Zoo community. I know the Jurassic World community has treated you very fairly. But it's also so awesome just to get you back over here. It's super awesome just to see how modders can translate between the two games. It's awesome. When I built Bover... Oh, wow. When I built over at Jurassic World Evolution 2, I just turned all the people shirtless. But hey... What else can you do? Over here, that note aside, we are taking a look at Bongo Hardwood's Magpie Goose. These guys are so freaking cool. This is previously released. I think he actually released it back in 1.5, I want to say. But he did such an incredible job at re resing it, or updating it rather. I'm trying to come up with some new words over here, it seems. You know, I'm trying to enter hone my inner Dr. Seuss, but these guys look absolutely stellar now. In case if you guys are unaware, the Magpie Goose is a lovely little waterfowl found from Australia, and these guys actually have some pretty clear sexual dimorphism now. Here's the male over here, they have a much more pronounced bump on their head, and the females actually have a much smaller bump, and they don't have that red kind of face stuff. Uh, continue up to the head, which is pretty cool to see. One of the things I really do love about Bongo is that he takes all the strides possible to keep his mods all looking beautiful, all looking mighty fine, all looking frontier official, and it's just super awesome to see that because he did such an incredible job on these guys. But yeah, these guys are officially all nice and updated now, and I really hope you guys can check these guys out. Moving on through here, however, we have another one by Bongo if we can actually find them and they're all hiding over here look at that so this one is the Demoiselle 
Damoiselle Crane, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. These guys are found in Eurasia, I believe. We're just going to consult his map. Yep, Eurasia and some parts of Africa, so that is actually pretty cool to see. Look at all these countries, that's awesome. These guys are incredibly beautiful. They're very iconic due to, like, the, uh... I guess you could call those eye tufts, I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm going to call them now. And the bright red eyes. They're super awesome cranes. Bongo always does such a killer job with his birds, especially with the feathers. I love how these kind of like droop down kind of like that. It's super awesome. I'm not sure if they do have sexual dimorphism or not, but they are incredibly beautiful creatures. So if you guys are looking for some animals to kind of put in your Asian sections, maybe your African sections, maybe even your European sections, if you really want to stretch it, these guys would be perfect for that right there. Check these guys out. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Alright, now staying in Asia over here, we have a tiny little guy. This creature I know so many people are very familiar with. This is the Reeves Muntjac. Otherwise known as the Barking Deer, these guys are called that because of the unique distinct calls that they have that make them sound kind of like dogs. The Reeves Muntjac is one of the smaller deer species in the world and they're very identifiable due to the tiny little horns on their head and some males actually grow fangs. Some of their fangs can actually get up to about two inches. So I really hope I was able to really nail the um, measurements over there. But yeah, these guys are incredibly beautiful. I did make these with the help of Monsoon. You guys may know Monsoon as the king of Southeast Asian mods. He made the original giant Munchak, and I was like, oh, please, can I just please make a Reeves Munchak off of that? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? So that's why I finally did. Finally hunkered down and made it, and these guys are so freaking cool. Oh no, I just really do love it. So all the beauty that you see in this mod over here, you have to give a huge thank you to Monsoon as well for, because he was able to make this beautiful base. I mean, even these like horn bumps, I don't even know what you call those, but he was able to help me out with those too. Really awesome guy, really awesome mod. If you guys are making like a Chinese or Taiwanese section, these guys are actually perfect for that right there. I know at Roger Williams, actually not at Roger Williams, but so many places around the world actually keep these guys with red crown cranes and red pandas. I should actually add that to the inner species enrichment when I get the chance, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'll probably do that later, but these guys are incredible and I really do hope you guys enjoy them. They're super awesome to make and they're super beautiful as well. Now moving on through here, we're getting into Narwhaler territory. Uh, he's been going to ham this past week and none in no thanks in part two I, I don't know words anymore guys i'm sorry the southern ground hornbill that's what i'm trying to say this is a freaking awesome animal so of course many of you guys may know hornbills you guys may know your rhinoceros hornbills maybe even your vonderdeckens if you're a lion king fan but these guys oh my gosh these guys are one of the most um i guess you could say one of the more not arboreal the ground dwelling birds it's probably one of the more famous ground dwelling birds from africa taking aside ostriches and stuff like that they look incredible and i really do love how he was able to nail the waddle over there that's super awesome how it kind of like jiggles but they do have sexual dimorphism again uh the male has some bluish on him and they have beautiful beautiful eyelashes check that stuff out but yeah, these guys are incredibly beautiful creatures. Narwhaler always does such an incredible job with his mods, even the ones that some people are too afraid to tackle. But this is absolutely beautiful work, Narwhaler. Amazing job. Super awesome to see you really take on some awesome animals. And we're going to take a little trip back in time over here. Over to Madagascar. Yeah, I don't know why I can't talk anymore, guys. I don't know. Maybe YouTube's just getting to me. This is the elephant bird. Now, so many of my friends over here, so many of you may have played Zoo Tycoon 2, and I know this one does not look like the Zoo Tycoon 2 elephant bird. It's not really supposed to because this is a realistic interpretation of them. But these guys are beautiful. So these guys used to live on the island of Madagascar. I'm not sure if they actually lived on other places as well. I think it seems to just be the mainland, which is pretty good. But these guys are super awesome. All the detail in here. I'm just always amazed at the detail that Narwhaler is able to get into his paleo mods. Because it's super awesome just to see like 
all the tiny things he's able to take into account. The little, like, hairs on the face. I think he even used that technique for the kiwi as well. These animals are just so beautiful. It really makes me want to do a paleo zoo. I feel like that would be a super awesome thing to have. But these guys are just incredibly well done. Amazing job, Narwhaler. And we're going to move over here, back over to the Middle East really quickly. I know we said we're in Narwhaler territory, but our good friend Manga Gaming Rex is not done just yet. Uh, he actually made a beautiful mod that I was so excited to code. This is the Mountain Gazelle. These guys are native to around the Middle East, maybe even some parts of Turkey. I think they're in Syria, but I could be mistaken. That may just be another sub. But these guys are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, check these guys out. So of course these guys are native to the Middle East. Just another really cool endangered gazelle species. Uh, it's super awesome just to get more and more endangered and um, threatened species in the game. Just because it really does go to show just like all the animals that are really under threat by you know, human actions and stuff like that. And it really helps to bring a new eye to these animals as well, which I think is good. Uh, it's not good that they're endangered, but it's good that we're making them. That's what, that's a clear distinction I have to make. But these guys are incredibly beautiful. I really do like, love all the colors on them. All like the shading and stuff. Mega Game and Rex is doing some incredible stuff as of late. Uh, and it's just super awesome just to see how far he's come. And look at them doing their little breeding animation. That's so cute. So you may notice that the females do have smaller horns. Uh, the female gazelle can actually have horns, which is great. And the males have much longer ones as well. Hopefully they can actually squeeze out a baby soon. Hopefully all of our animals can soon because I want to check out the next one. It's about time, guys. It's about time. We finally got our woolly rhinoceros. This is made by Narwhaler. You guessed it. Who else would do paleo mods? Except for Viral. Viral's been doing some. And I think that's super swell. But going back over here to the woolly rhino, these guys are iconic. What else needs to be said about them? They just look absolutely stellar over here. I really love all the colors that Narwhaler, Narwhaler was able to bring in here. It's just super awesome just to see how he was able to get such a beautiful dynamic coat over here. And I'm sure you guys will probably be building like your big sandbox builds with like a whole bunch of snow on them so they look nice and natural and all that. He was able to do so many variations for these guys, which is incredible. And they just look so beautiful too. All the details of the fur just go so long. I really do love it. But yeah, have we gotten any babies out just yet? Oh, we have the baby elephant bird. We should check that out. It said it had offspring. Oh my gosh. Look at the little man. Oh my gosh, he looks like a tiny little watermelon. That's the cutest thing in the world. Oh my gosh, I always love seeing that. Just like how, um, you know, how they're able to achieve like a nice looking juvenile of an animal that we have no idea about. There's a baby hornbill. Oh my gosh. That's the cutest damn thing in the world. Look at its eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he knocked it out of the park with that one. And I think the crane is about to have offspring too, so we'll just speed up time just a little bit more. And there we go. The crane ones are always very simple, but it's super awesome just to get them nonetheless. These guys are a little bit more gray than the typical red crown crane juvenile. And I think he actually did some very unique face changes too. Uh, not really sure why I think the beak is much smaller, which is pretty cool. But I'm trying to think what else we might have juveniles of. Let me just go over here to the maturity. Magpie Goose, relatively simple. Uh, these guys are just the cutest. Look at their big faces. Oh my gosh, they look like tiny baby ducks, which I guess it kind of makes sense that they are, but what else do we have in here? Just want to see the last ones before we end the showcase. Um, I'm not sure if we have any that are gonna... Yeah, it's just the cranes. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that is about our entire showcase today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see any more of the juveniles, you guys can always open up these animals in your own games. 
Uh, but all that being said, let me know your favorites in the comments down below. I'm sorry, I'm a little partial to it, but the Mountain Gazelle is so gorgeous. That's my favorite of this week. But thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to end it with someone else, though. I, I'll tell you what. We'll end it with the Rhinos. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always super awesome to have over here. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a little like, maybe even a comment. If you guys are so inclined to as well, be sure to drop a little subscribe too. It always does help me out and we're so close to 9,000 subscribers. That would be such an awesome landmark to hit. It's just super awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are always the best and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.